DVI all in one 7000, how to reinstall, or install the system. DVI all in one 7000. Reinstalling the device. In this video we will show how to reinstall the DVI all in one 7000. As reinstallation and first installation of the device are very similar, this video also describes the first installation of the device. We will go through the following steps. Step 1. Booting the device into system management utility. Step 2. Running a system recovery, back to factory defaults. From this step onwards, reinstallation and installation are the same. Step 3. Going through the Windows first setup. Step 4. Installing the Bosch appliance setup through software selection. Step 5. Choosing the operation mode through software center. If at step 5 BVMS mode is chosen, the Diva IP all in one 7000 will boot into kiosk mode, and is ready for the initial configuration. Step 1. Booting the device into system management utility. Start the unit, and press F7, during the BIOS power on self-test, to enter Windows PE. The recovery menu will be displayed. Step 2. Running a system recovery, back to factory defaults. Options on the menu are. Initial factory setup, deletes data on all hard drive partitions, and overwrites the operating system partition with the factory default image. Initial factory setup, overwriting existing data, deletes and overwrites data on all hard drive partitions, and overwrites the operating system partition with the factory default image. System recovery. Back to factory defaults, overwrites the operating system partition with the factory default image, and imports existing virtual hard drives from the hard drives during recovery. We will choose system recovery for this video. Note that to access existing video, a system configuration backup must be placed back after recovery. Read the warning and click OK when done. The system recovery script will now run. First cleaning the system, and then reinstalling the operating system partition. This part of the process takes approximately 10 minutes, with the full process of reinstallation taking approximately 30 minutes. Once the setup is concluded, press OK to restart the system. Step 3. Going through the Windows first setup. Now we will go through the Windows setup process. Select the desired language for the setup. Select the region, this will determine Windows regional settings. Select the desired app language, this is needed when changing region only. We will keep the keyboard layout set to US, but this can also be changed. Click next to continue, and read the license terms on the next page. Then click accept. A setup script will run in the background as Windows boots up. And then the system will reboot again. The password for the administrator account, BVR admin, must be changed. Make sure to create a secure password, and store it in a safe location. Step 4. Installing the Bosch appliance setup through software selection. The software selection screen will be displayed. Here you can select the software center installation file. Note that if you do not have the software center installation file available on local storage, insert external storage media to load the file from. The software will show on the software selection page. On this system, one file is available. If multiple files are available, select the desired version. The file can be selected by simply pressing the buttons on screen or by browsing the directories as shown here. The software will now be installed and the system will reboot. Press Ctrl Alt Delete to log into Windows with the previously created password. Microsoft Edge browser will automatically boot up and start Software Center. Enter the administrator username BVR Admin, 
and its password, and sign in. DVIP Software Center will load. Step 5. Choosing the operation mode through Software Center. External storage can also be used to load the latest software from. The latest software and upgrade packages can be downloaded from downloadstore.bushsecurity.com. There are three available operation modes. Select BVMS to use the device as a full recording and management system. Select VRM to use device as a pure video recording system. Select iSCSI storage to use the device as iSCSI storage expansion unit only. The help button gives information about resources, as well as the software center's version, and log location for troubleshooting purposes. The end user license agreement can be found under licensing terms. We will now choose the BVMS operating mode. Note that updates of BVMS are possible after installation using Software Center. Changing operation mode, however, requires a factory reset of the system first. Choose the BVMS version. We only have version 10.1 on our device, so we choose that. And then choose Install. A pop up window shows all the versions of the software included in the installation package. Click Install BVMS 10.1 to start the installation. First, up to 40% of the package is installed. After a few minutes, during the BVMS install, a reboot is required. Log in to Windows with BVR Admin. Microsoft Edge browser will again automatically start. After logging into Software Center, the installation will continue until done. And the device will reboot for the final time. The device will boot into kiosk mode, from which the standard BVMS programs can be started. In order to log into Windows from here, press Ctrl Alt Delete, then click Switch User, and immediately press and hold the Shift key. This concludes this how to video.